Hey, Trip Zero here, and this is my in-bedroom deep water culture system that's growing Adriana lettuce. I've had it going for over a month. I figure it's time to make a video on how it works, how I built it, and what I've learned in the process. So let's take a look at how it works. Let's go over the various components of the system. First, we have a the container, and this is just a Tupperware container, and I've painted the, the bottom half of it black just so light can't get into the roots zone and uh, cause algae buildup, that sort of thing. So uh, it would have been better if I um, had gotten a solid color, probably either black or a, a darker color where light can't get through. But uh, if you have just a clear one like this, painting the bottom is not a bad option. I've also lined, lined the back of it with this reflective film. I've just taped it on. And that keeps the light inside better. In addition to that, I have a floating piece of styrofoam here. And this floats on top of the water. Um, and basically what happens is you plant the plants in here. The roots grow into the water, which is nutrient rich. And they soak up the nutrients and they grow. I've got a grow light that I'm using right now as my uh, spotlight for filming, but uh, it, it seems to pr grow pretty well on 50 watts. I think 100 watts is better, um, but 50 watts is not bad. Um, this is, is fairly healthy lettuce. Um, it's not the healthiest it can be. It's looked better before, and I'll tell you why uh, hopefully later. So that's basically how um, in addition to, so the net pots with rocks, the plants grow on there, the floating raft. Inside the water is a bubbler powered by this guy. So I've got two stones in there generating bubbles. I don't know if you could see the bubbles coming up there. You can. So it's, it's on a pretty low setting. We don't need a whole lot of oxygen generation in here. And then I've got a fan just to kind of circulate the air. So that's, that's how it works. Now well, let's get into how I built it. Building it was pretty simple. Um, I've already talked about how I got the, the container. I painted it. Home Depot, you can get these pieces of styrofoam, eight by eight or four by four. Um, and this is about inch and a half, two inches thick. Um, I believe inch and a half, looks about an inch and a half. But the one side is reflective, which is good because it'll bounce light back up. The lights on top are also reflective. So any photons that aren't hitting the plants are going to bounce off the bottom of this back up into that and reflect back down and hopefully bounce around until they hit the plants. Same thing uh, with the back of this, which I've also lined with the reflective liner. So I'm, I'm really trying to maximize the amount of light that I'm getting in here. I'm using high efficient LEDs. Um, this rock is grow stone. You don't have to use grow stone. You can use, I guess, any type of rock. The purpose of this is just to hold the grow cube in. I don't know if you can see the grow cube down there. If I move that, you probably can. But it's just to hold the grow cube in place. That's it. So once you get the grow cube in place, you can see the roots just grow right down into the water. And those aren't the healthiest looking roots. And I'll tell you why in, a, in the next section. Um, but that's basically it. I added a fan. Um, this raft just floats there. So the water it goes down, up and down with the water level. Um, the nutrient solution um, is important and also the pH. So I put the pH around six. And the nutrient solution, um, I initially set it at about 1,200 parts per million. And that's bad, and I'll tell you why in the next section as well. Um, that's not ideal. It's not necessarily bad. It's not ideal. Um, I was able to harvest in about a month a pound, just these four. I just harvested these four um, slots, a pound worth of, of lettuce in a month. And I've been eating some of it along the way. So over, over a pound in that time, and if you use all six slots, 
pound and a half. Let's just say a pound and a half. So pretty good uh, growing capacity here. You can grow more than lettuce, and I'll experiment with other things later. But let's talk about what I've learned so far. What have I learned so far? So first, um, you definitely I've learned you definitely need these tools. So this is a pH meter and an electronic uh, conductivity meter that measures in uh, the salts and parts per million. These are definitely essential. You want the right pH to begin with, and it will drift over time. Over the course of the month, it will drift. So you want to monitor it every couple weeks or so and maybe correct it. Parts per million, I told you, I had it around 1,200. That's way too high for lettuce. So look at, uh, look at what you want to plant and adjust your pH accordingly. Um, because my pH was so high, the lettuce ended up being a little bit bitter. And I don't like bitter lettuce, uh, and you probably don't either, so be careful about the parts per million. Lettuce likes it around 800 parts per million. So keep that in mind. Other plants may vary. Other plants want different pHs. So keep that in mind when you plant, uh, when you use this type of system. Um, how did I do the holes? I'm going to go back and do how I did the holes. I actually took a Rockstar um, aluminum can. I heated up and I melted it through. I figured that would get the cleanest, cleanest cut, uh, the cleanest hole possible. Um, you could probably, it would be a lot more ideal, this is the learning part, a lot more ideal if it was like a metal pipe. But the aluminum can was just perfect round enough for these net pots to fit in, so it worked actually quite well. Um, the problem with aluminum is it's so thin, it doesn't uh, trap a lot of heat, it doesn't, um, there's just not enough mass there to keep the, heat, the energy, to like store a lot of energy, so it transfers it all very quickly into the thing and then you have to reheat it. So it actually took... You know, a, a, and I broke several aluminum cans along the way. So, um, melt if you're going to melt a hole, try and use a pipe instead of an aluminum can. Um, this system is only probably good for about a month, um, and the reason is, up until about a week ago, my roots were nice and white. They started these I just harvested today. They were a lot darker. Um, you probably want to change your water out after a month. So if you're growing plants that take longer to go from zero to hero, um, keep that in mind. You'll probably be changing it out every month. Um, I think that's about it. If I think of anything else, I'll, po I'll probably post another video. But overall, I'm very happy about this. I'm going to put some new plants in. Uh, as soon as they, they sprout, I've germinated. Uh, if you check out my other video on autumn plants, I'll probably put some spinach in here or or maybe I'll plant some more uh, Adriana lettuce because that just uh, goes really crazy, grows super fast, and you can eat it uh, very quickly as well. Like I could start munching on these leaves and they'll be great. So that's my deep water culture in-bedroom system uh, powered by 100% LED light. Um, I have these windows sit next to the window and it's closed. By the way, you want to keep the, the water cool. I forgot about that. Mine sits next to the vent so it gets the cool air right uh, as it comes out and it stays pretty cool. I haven't measured the temperature but I imagine it's, it's pretty cool. It, it feels cool when I touch it. Um, other than that, that's it. So it works really well. I definitely recommend it. It's not expensive. You know, 150 watts of minimum uh, light. It's not much. And if you want uh, even better growth, go with 100 watts. Uh, so definitely worthwhile. Um, the Tupperware container in-bedroom grow system. Trip zero out.